fuck with him on. It's ya boy, Androach, or I guess I can go by my real name. I don't even know. But ladies and gentlemen, I know I'm, we're not supposed to do intros, just go right into it, but I have to explain this one, guys. Because you see, here in... It, oh boy, okay. It were no syncretic. I hope I said that right. Um, you know, we're doing uh, Dead by Daylight and uh, Overcook and all these great other games. But you know what? I feel like it would be the perfect time for me to do a run through uh, one of my childhood games that I went through. And one of them has to be WWF WrestleMania 2000. So what I'm going to do right now, you see here it says King of the Ring, but it's not the King of the Ring. It's the Iwerdosic... Oh boy. Okay, hold on. Edward, 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 oh my god. Never mind. It's the Shoot Your Shot tournament. What's going to happen is I have randomized different people into matches. Ten minute long matches to determine who will be the winner of the Shoot Your Shot tournament. But not just that, ladies and gentlemen. No, no, no. The winner of this tournament will be the main focus on the story mode on this game. That's right. Whoever wins this will be the main character of the road to WrestleMania. They probably, you're probably asking yourself, huh, that's interesting, but who do you have in the in the bracket? You have like The Rock or The Big Show, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh, no, 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 no. See, that's not what I am all about. I'm about making the impossible possible. So let's see what we have here for the brackets here. All right. We got in the first matchup, Ruby Rod from the Fifth Element taking on Dr. Fraser Crane. The Doctor of Dastardly, Dr. Dastardly, who made his debut in our last Step of Daylight video. We take it on his arch nemesis, Donald Trump. Pee Wee Herman, the P, taking on everyone's favorite action star from, from the 90s, Jackie Chang. The Admiral, Nick, obvious, will be taking on the fifth element's Corbin Dallas. Next up, Aaron the Jester is taking on Chef Gordon Ramsay. Who will be the idiot sandwich tonight? We will find out. Steven Seagal. That's right, folks. He's here. He's bigger than ever. We taking on Doctor Niles Crane. We will see brother versus brother. We will see the censor's nightmare himself. Uncle Chuck will be taking on Hank Hill. Bah! And last but not least, it's ya boy Doug. Not so funny. Taking on. Which is, that's my gamer name. Anyway, we'll be taking on one of my favorite horror movie characters, Norman Bates. So that is the matchup we have here today. Every match would be 10 minutes. And I'm not sure what happens when it goes to the 10 minute mark, but we shall see. So, and this would be all CPU. 10 minutes. Yep, yep, yep. All right, let's see. First matchup up, we have Ruby Rod taking on Dr. Fraser Crane. Let's see who will win this matchup tonight. So uh, just a little bit about, about myself. Um, as you can tell right now, I am a wrestling fan. Um, I know some people may... Not like wrestling, which which I'm pretty, I'm cool with, whatever. Um, I started watching wrestling back in 99, uh, back when it was the height of the, the, the Attitude Era, I guess you can say. And, um, but, um, this, yeah, but this, uh, this game was pretty ahead of its time in a way, but, um, another game I'm going to be focusing on too will be the No Mercy game, uh, which I'll be doing in a future video. But um, other than that, here comes Dr. Fraser Crane, along with his brother, Dr. Niles Crane. We'll see, uh, will brains go over um, weirdness? Because, I mean, Ruby Rod is a pretty weird guy, to say the least. But Fraser Crane has that big head of his. So let's see uh, 
Who's going to win tonight? Will it be Dr. Frazier Crane or Ruby Rod? And here we go, folks. Ten minute time limit. So uh, both men are feeling each other out here. And, uh, oh, oh, nope. Oh, kick to the gut. And, oh, reversal. And back drop right there by a Ruby Rod. Let's see. Oh, missed with that kick. Body slam. Niles on the side going, yes, yes. Very good, brother. Oh, what are you doing? Look at, like, <laughs> one thing you got to notice about, about these games is, uh, you know, when, when this game came out, people were like, oh, these graphics were so awesome. And then you look, look, look at games, you know, now. Oh, wow. A jumping kick right through the back of the uh, head of Fraser Crane. And back to it he goes. Um, like I was saying, folks. Oh, Ruby Rod. Oh, backdrop to Fraser. Elbow drop now. And Niles once again going, what are you doing? Come on. Slap to the chest. Oh, who's going to be winning this matchup, guys? I don't know. Oh, pile driver. Come Oh, drop on his big old head. Uh-oh. Ruby Rod, I think he's calling for it. He's calling for his finishing move the all night long. And there it is. Go bed. Cover. Two. And oh, two count right there. Frazier getting his arm up at the time. Like I was saying, folks, um, this game, when it first came out, was labeled as one of the best games. And that's until WWF No Mercy came out, which we'll be covering in a future video. Um, oh, goes for that kick, but Frazier counters it. Throws him to the ropes. Drop toe hold. Let's see who... Oh, chopped to the throat. And Frazier coming up now. Feel a little bit woozy for where? Kick. Ooh. What a quick kick right there. European uppercut. And he's not European, folks. I'm not sure why he's doing it, but uh, who knows? Overhead punch. Other videos I'm going to be covering for Iridel Cyclitis. Oops. Oops. Sorry, Nick. I know I was trying not to say the real. Anyway. Um, other videos I'm going to probably, probably gonna be doing. Uh, Planet Coaster. That's coming up there. Um, I'm going to try to do cooking ones too because I am, uh, uh, my job is a cook, so I'm going to be doing that. Uh, I like to love to cook, so we're going to be seeing how that goes. Um, both men trying to feel each other out, I guess. Low kick right there. Oh, kick to the head. Ruby Rod taking it to Frazier now. Oh, punch. And oh, knee smash. Frazier taking it to Ruby Rod now. Watch out here. Gut wrench. Gut wrench. But Ruby Rod up and overhead hits him. Ronnie Elbow. Man, this I got to say, this match, both men are pretty much well matched against each other, which I'm kind of surprised if he asked me. But, I mean, who knows? You know, Ruby Rod, you know, is always moving, always. Oh, Frazier knocked down on his butt. Oh, slap! Shoulder thrust right there! Frazier now. Oh, overhead punch. Trying to build some momentum over the over the crazy one from the future. Man, I, you know, I, I know we can't really play favoritism here, folks, but I don't know. Looking at all these brackets, the one person I want to win this is, of course, myself. Because, come on, think about it. Me as, whoop, double hook suplex. And Ruby Rogers gets up because he is full of futuristic drugs probably. Who knows? You're paying up a couple again. Um, I don't know. You know, I would love to win this tournament, but you know what? I can't I can't be favored towards myself. Ooh, groundhouse kick to the face. Shoulder thrusts again. So, I don't know. If, if, we can't, if I can't pick myself, I do want to see... Uh, you know what? Just to make Dr. Dashley pissed off, I want to see Donald Trump win. Because to know that the videos will be based on Donald Trump more, he'll be so mad. It'll be kind of funny. But, oh, low blow! Come on! Play fair, Ruby Rod! <sighs> anyway. But I don't... But, seriously speaking, I don't know. Like, all these... 
all these men are, are, are really great competitors here. So I really got to say, maybe if I have to choose one, I would probably have to choose... You know, I'm. I really use. I like Jackie Chain back in the day. So I don't know. Maybe check check it to take this tournament. Who knows? Four arm smash there, and knee smasher. Oh, come on, Frazier, let's go, Frazier. Fra the crowd is not chanting, but it's okay. I, I, I'll chant for him. Um, punch and a kick. Another punch. Shoulder block. And another look. Come on. Another, another low blow there. Ruby Ride trying to desperately try to win this matchup by any means. An overhead overhead punch. Frazier now building up some momentum here. Oh, what's he doing here? Oh, wow, a submission hold. He calls this the I'm listening. Okay, he's... Oh, overhead punch again. Oh, for, uh oh, Frazier. He's feeling it. Can it be the... Toss body to scramble legs. Come and call. Oh, God. <laughs> what the hell was that? He dropped it on his head. Frazier wins. With that. Oh, my. Oh, he's telling him to kiss his ass. Come on. We got to see that move again. He dropped them on his head. Boom. <laughs> Jeez. Man, Frazier wasn't playing around. He was here. He was. He's in it to win it, folks. Doctor Fraser Crane taking up the win at six minutes and ten seconds. Wow! What a first matchup. Let's see our next matchup coming up. Is Doctor Dashley taking on Donald Trump? Sword enemies. These people. They are. Let's see who's gonna win this matchup. Here comes Dr. Dashley. And um, like I said before, he made his debut. And there I am, folks. I'm in the background. Look how great I look. We look so mean. Urgh, I'm mean. He made his debut on our Dead by Daylight series. And here he is again looking to get a win over the man as he, he puts it. Destroyed America. Destroyed everything. And he left. Man, he's really uh, stoic going down in the ring. And here, there I am outside because I don't want to be in the ring because it's against it law. So, oh wow, fireworks are plenty, and here comes that 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 bastard Donald Trump. Oh, God, look at this guy right now. Ah, boo, boo. You know, I gotta say, folks, you know, this, this, you know, I'm just gonna say it right now. If he loses, you know, he's just gonna go on, well, he can't, he can't go on Twitter anymore, or Facebook, or Instagram. He'll probably have his OnlyFans page up, going how he, quote unquote, didn't lose this. It's a big lie, or whatever you wanna call it. But, you know, folks, I gotta say it right now. If he loses, good on him. I don't like him. Here we go, folks. Dr. Dashley taking on Donald Trump. Look at him. He is t he is just... Oh! Elbow! Right off the bat! Oh! What? Low blow! <coughs> and as you know... Pile driver! Oh, come on! Pile driver right there. And you guys say, you know, Donald Trump knows that Dr. Dashley, he is a melon of a man. And oh, oh, wow! Springboard elbow right there. Donald Trump is down. But Donald Trump gets up. Oh, shoulder thrust. Oh, what, what is he doing? Oh, okay. I guess he misjudged what he was going to do there. And Donald Trump. Oh, body slammed by Trump. Dr. Dashley gets up going, you're just a sticky old man. There's no way you can beat me. And feeling each other out right now. Um, wow. This match is a uh, match in the make. Oh, pile driver again, and uh, I guess we're gonna see pile drivers uh, galore here, thanks to Trump. And oh, okay. oh, but wait a minute, it, uh, shoulder breaker there by the dastardly one. I gotta say though, whoever wins this match will be taking on Doctor Fraser Crane, and um, Doctor Dastardly is a fan of Fraser, so who knows? Will it be teacher versus student? 
I guess probably not. I, I'm not really sure. Drop toe hold and a choppy chop. Oh man, he's pumped. Oh, Trump now. Looks like he's trying to try to knock down Dr. Dashley, but he can't. Pyro oh no no no. Oh wow. Dr. Dashley now taking it to Trump. Right it Oh big boot! What a big boot to the knocking down Trump! <coughs> Excuse me. Red breaker. You gotta you gotta ask yourself that Oh! What a punch! What a punch to take out Trump to the ring area! Up oh, oh, oh. no, he gets in right before he does whatever he was gonna do. Now they're feeling each other out. I think Trump doesn't want to get near Dr. Dashley Dasherly because he knows if he does, he's gonna be done for. And oh, what did Suplex coming? Do ah, oh, come on, Dashley, take them out. Oh, he's trying to knock him down. Oh, body slam there by Trump, and Trump's trying to get some sort of leverage over Dr. Dashley, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Oh, take down there. Fixing his hand now because he knows that he's not working. He's not getting paid by by, by the IR folks. Throw him to the corner now. Dr. Dasher now. Oh, choking him out with his big boot. You know, some people may say that if Trump loses tonight, it will be the quote unquote big lie. And oh, look at that. He's pulling his face off. I guess you could say he's a fan of the movie Face Off. Dr. Dashley now. Rip Breaker again. He's building up a lot of momentum here. Can Dr. Da. Oh, kicked in the midsection now. Trump getting up, but he is worse for wear here. Body slam, and oh, he's calling for it. Can it be his finishing maneuver? He likes to call the dastardly dart. He has him up. And oh, there it is, folks. The dastardly. Oh, he's bleeding. He is bleeding. Wait a minute, who's that? Who? Oh, no, it's one of those Trump supporters now coming in to help Trump. But wait, look here. I oh wait, I'm I'm here though. I'm here to make sure this doesn't happen. No Trump supporters gonna be making sure he wins tonight. Oh come on! Oh no, I just got body. I I just got suplex, but I am up because I'm a the. Uh, I how can I call this about? Well, oh, um, this was filmed earlier today, so uh yeah. I just let I this is, was filmed earlier today. Well, the Trump supporter is leaving now, and I'm going to be leaving too because, you know, back to the match at hand here. You got to say, you know, Trump having his sleazy Trump supporter come in here trying to try to make him win. Head butt. And, oh, he's... Uh, Dr. Dashley trying to stretch out his muscles there. Oh. Come on, Dr. Dashley. Let's go. And a side slam. Dr. Dashley now back on the attack of Donald Trump. Shoulder breaker. You know, I gotta say, Donald Trump, even though he called his stupid supporter here to come and help him, he still is losing this match. Let me go goes to show you, cheaters never pos prosper. I can't say that term right, but it's okay. Oh, now he's going for it again. Can it beat the dastardly dart? Here it comes! And boom! Oh, on top of his old man head. And Dr. Lee take him to the middle of the ring. Up, oh, just like his presidency, it will be done! Dr. Dr. Lee wins this match! <coughs> what a matchup! Even though that tr Trump supporter tried to come in. To, 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 to help the Trumpster, he still loses like he does. And then we see Dummy Thick, Dr. Dashley, winning this matchup. What a match. Up next, we have the P, Pee Wee Herman taking on Jackie Chang. It's going to be interesting to see 
Who's going to be winning this matchup? Will it be the P, Pee Wee Herman, or Jackie Chang? We shall see. This is, has been a night of uh, night of surprises, to say the least. We have Dr. Fraser Crane taking on Dr. Dastardly. Doctor versus Doctor. Who will win? And here comes P, the P, Pee Wee Herman. Um, he calls himself the P, not because of what happened uh, years ago in a theater, but he is the P. And uh, here comes the the uh, the Karate Man, Jackie Chang. He is ready. He is coming out here, ready to kick some ass. So, but you know. I gotta say though, it's interesting because when when this game, you know, when No Mercy came out and this game came out, people were like, "Oh, these these graphics were great." And then you see the graphics that are going happening now, like they're better, but the quality of the game is not as good. So, so here it comes, here we go, Jackie Chang taking on the P, Pee Wee Herman. Oh, Pee Wee now trying to. Oh man, Jackie Chang's not playing. Back breaker. I'm not sure how long is this going to go, folks. I'm going to say don't set your watch on this match. It may be over in not that long. Oh, training chops now. Pee Wee Herman. Whoa! Try to moon springboard moose up, but that didn't do anything. And back breaker there. Oh, fast elbow drop there. Looks like he's trying to get some type of momentum going, but as you see, the P taking holding his own here against. Oh, show the thrust and oh, oh, going for that leg lock submission, but he got a break there. I gotta say, you know, most people can count Pee Wee Herman out. I mean, he's 100 pounds soaking wet, but we'll see who's gonna be winning this match. Body slam, trying to gain some sort of mo. Oh, kick him back there. Him out of the ring and club to the chest and, he, and Jackie Chang's out. They're going back into the ring now, folks. Let's see who's going to be winning this matchup. Punt, elbow and another elbow there, but the P trying to hold his own here against Jackie Chang. Oh, he missed that big kick. And look out here. Oh, snap mare. Oh, still Trading shots back and forth. And let's see what type of mood this is going to put Jackie Chain in. You got you to gotta think about it, though. Jackie Chain, he's a, he's a really, really accomplished martial arts expert. And, oh, reverse it right there. He has been in films as Who Am I, Zodiac Cop, and Rumble in the Bronx. Reversal. Oh, hip tossed. And he's building up momentum. Like I said, folks, I don't think you should set your mat your, your your watches on this match. It may be over as soon as you may think. Shoulder press and wait a minute now, Jackie Chang now. Calling for the calling for the chain re reaction here. Oh, no, wait a minute. Oh. Kicking this section. Shoulder block. Can it, will this be it? Oh! Well, look, watch out! Here comes the chain reaction! Oh my god, stop kicking him! He's dead. That's it, he's dead! Two, three. Like I said, folks, that was a. That was a one and done match. Those kicks, pretty much, look at those kicks again. Straight up kicking him in the face. Holy crap, what is go- why? He held his head! It's like a mugging! <laughs> right there, he kicked him in his head! Oh man, I hope Pee Wee Herman has insurance because he's gonna need it. And there he goes, and you see Jackie Chan winning in short work. Here we go, next matchup. We have the Abra one, Nick Obvious, taking on Corbin Dallas. 
Will the Admiral win this match? We shall see. Or will it be Corbin Dallas Moti Pass? Who knows? But here he comes, and wow, look how, look how, look how belt he is. Yeah, look at him. He's coming out of the ring area. Yes, that, uh, I guess it's a USB cable. Who knows? We do know he's the master of computers, but will he be the master of this tournament? We shall see. Here he is. Arms on the hips. He's ready to go, and here it comes. Here comes, uh, here comes the Corbin one. Multi-pass Corbin Dallas. Ah, look at him. Oh, he's, uh, he's a walking. He's a talking. He's in a bad mood. Look at him. He's bad mood because, you know, he someone crashed to his taxi. He has to pay all for all the damages. I uh, I talked to him before this matchup, and he said that if he wins his match, he'll use the winning money because the winner does get $1,000. Stimulus payment. He said if he gets that money, he's going to be fixing up his taxi and doing the taxi circuit again. So uh, here he goes. He's going to all corners, folks. He has to make sure people know he's here. Corbin Dallas. Multi-pass. Now, as we all know, Ruby Rod wasn't successful. And, um, no, 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 Sorry. Wasn't successful in his matchup against Fraser Crane. Can Corbin Dallas do have more luck? Oh, Corbin Dallas take, taking it to Admiral Nick. Oh, Admiral Nick though, lifting him up. Boom! Whoa, Admiral Nick. He doesn't give a well. You know, I don't know. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be PG or not. But I don't. I don't think I curse yet. But who knows? Anyway. Oh, Admiral Nick now. Mr. Mr. Obvious himself taking it to Corbin Dallas. Let's see what's going to happen here, folks. Through the ropes. Backdrop. And let's see. Corbin Dallas. I rank. Trying to get any, any type of offense here on Admiral Nick. Let's see how this will be going. Knee lift. Knocking down Corbin Dallas. When he's up again, grabbing him. Through the ropes. No! Knee kitchen sink to the stomach there. Oh, he's lifting him up. He's thinking you're going to beat me. You start of a bitch. Oh, man. Still to come, folks. We got Aaron the Jester taking on Chef Gordon Ramsay. Who will win? And who will find the lamb sauce first? We shall see. And Corbin Dallas again. I rank. Trying to resort to some cheating tactics here. Because he knows he can't beat the obvious one. Hip toss. And oh man. He's, he's just trying to gain some sort of momentum here. Any momentum. He has a good. It throws him out of the ring now. He's. Not, he's shaking off his, the cobwebs because, oh, he's coming out of the ring now. Whoa, wait a minute. Oh, Corbin Dallas was going to hit him over the head with a with a piece of wood. But he's throwing him back in the ring now is Ad, uh, is uh, Admiral Nick. And, oh, wow. Corbin Dallas knocks him out of the ring area. Pile driver on the floor. Come on. He's trying to break the damn neck of Admiral Nick. He's going back in the ring now before the 10 count. Oh, man. Admiral Nick still in control here, even though he was... Oh! Big kick. The Nick kick right there. Knee drop to the knee. He just put his knee out of his knee. Oh. Trying to knock him out again. But, oh, wait a minute. do see do Here we go. Lifting him up again with that choke. He is just... Admiral Nick Obvious just taking it to the, to Corbin Dallas. This is a, this is, this is a really good uh, big old Melee Man match, I gotta say. Another elevated choke there by Admiral Nick. He is just trying to choke the life out of him. I do know one thing. Who, the person that's going to be mad about this will be Lilu. Because uh, if he chokes him 
who's going to be helping her to the temple to, to do the, the, the... Oh, man. I don't know if... Uh, it's, never mind, because that'll be a spoiler alert for Fifth Element. But, uh... Both men now, looking at each other, sizing each other up. You can tell that both men want to win this... Oh, reversal there. Another Nick kick. He... Both... All, both men are taking a knee lift. Admiral Nick. Another knee to the... To, to the knee. And... Oh, wait a minute. Corbin now is trying to... Another eye rake. But that doesn't affect... Admiral Nick at all. He's trying to build up some momentum here. Throw to the ropes. Power, bomb, uh, power slam. And wait a minute. He's calling for it. Could it be the obvious bomb? Can it be it? Oh, he's calling it. Oh, too sweet indeed. It just tosses him like yesterday's garbage. That has to be it. Two. Got him. Wow. What a power bomb. By the powerful one, Abro Nick Obvious. As you see, covering Corbin Dallas multi pass to secure to secure his spot in, in the next set of brackets. Wow, what a match that was! So as we see. Before we go to the next set of brackets, we see Dr. Fraser Crane taking on Dr. Dastardly. Jackie Che taking on Admiral Nick Obvious. That's going to be interesting to see. Will Jackie Che kick, kick Nick or will Nick kick Jackie? Lots of kicks going on. Lots of kicks going on around there. But next up, we have Aaron the Jester taking on Chef Gordon Ramsay. Let's see who's going to win this match. Um... As we all know, you know, both men are known for their uh, outlandish personalities. And we see Aaron and Jitcha coming out here, making sure the people know that he's here to do one thing, one thing only. And that's to make sure he secures a win to go to the road to WrestleMania. And there he is, folks. He is just waiting to see who will be the winner of this matchup. Him versus Chef Gordon Ramsay. And here he comes. The chef himself. The chef that makes sure that, <laughs> young boy, you, yeah, think that this is going to be an easy, huh, match? And Chef Ramsay does not look happy right now. I guess the food he was served backstage, I heard, was subpar, at least. Dreadful. Flavorless. Ghastly. Just, just ghastly. And Jeff Ramsey's throwing a kiss to the crowd. I don't know why. But, uh, hey, who knows? And here it comes. Here we go. Chef Ramsey take hacking out Aaron the Jester. And let's see who's going to win this matchup. Oh, shoulder... Stanley shoulder thrust right here by Aaron the Jester. <coughs> Elbow kick to the midsection again. And we'll see exactly. Oh, the Jester really taking it to Chef Gordon Ramsay. But Chef Ramsay is not amused at all. So. I gotta say, you know, Chef Gordon Ramsay. If he wasn't a chef, I think he would be an awesome wrestling personality. Because he has, like, charisma to be, like, a really good bad guy. You know, so... I don't know. I, I just would love to see him, like, come... You know, like, like he'll buy Monday Night Raw, but he'll go... You know, Raw, you think this, this Raw is really good? No, it's Raw! It's Raw! But that's just me. You know, I, 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 I'm a weird guy, so... But back to this match, we see Chef Ramsey taking it to Aaron Jester still. But there, Je oh, Aaron the Jester. Arm drag, quick arm drag there. And both men sizing each other up like they should. And there, oh, switch to the back there. 
And let's see who's going to be winning this matchup. Warner Ramsey throwing the Jester to the ropes. Shoulder block to the knockdown. Stenton right there. Will we see Chef Ramsey? Oh, tried to do a DDT, but he was countered by the Jester. Backdrop. You know, Chef Ramsey, he was I was talking to him uh, backstage, and he said that he is looking forward to this match because he has been people have been telling him that 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 people don't like him because of his arrogance. But let me just say this. Oh, what a moonsault. If he wins this match, he will be ha he will be justified of being that arrogant. Aaron the Jester is no slouch in the ring, folks. I, I rake, as we know, that if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. One thing I like about, about this game, though, is, like, the faces. Because the faces are stuck in one position, and they don't change. Like, they could do like they could be like 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 in pain and they're still the same face it's just i find that hilarious i don't know um but the jester now t having chef ramsey against the ropes now oh misses that clothesline reversal forearm smash and the jester now taking it to ramsey oh reversal and forearm smash again and a knee smasher by the Jester. Ugh. What a kick there by Ramsey. And oh, drop kick. Meaning, meaning kick with kick now. Oh, you saw he was trying to get him to go and do a, a drop toe hole, but he reverses his hip toss. And ground and pound, he goes. Man, the Jester taking it to Chef Ramsey. You know, I you I have to give it to to Aaron the Jester. He has proven his worth here in Ariosyncratic. Throw to the ropes again. Drop toe hold, but that the, he gets up right away. Snap Mary still gets up right away. The Jester though, shoulder break, shoulder uh, thrusts right there to the other shoulder. Knee drop. There it is. And we see that. Oh, flipping the floop. How do you dupe? Oh, trying to hit that kick. Throwing to the corner now. Oh, he almost ran into a big boot by Aaron Jester, but Aaron Jester now. Forearm smash. Chef Ramsey going, getting up, but. So, whoa! Oh, kind of miss, mistook the distance on that one. But that was an interesting move, to say the least. Throwing you the ropes. Drop toe hold. Still trying to get some sort of moment. Oh! Throws a punch, but gets taken down by a Uranagi. Uranagi armbar. Fujimori, sorry, whatever you want to call it. Elbow drop. Elbow, elbow smash. Running elbow smash. Oh, we so many wrestling moves we didn't even count. But, oh, oh back, oh, backslide, but rope break. I guess you can tell Aaron DeJester trying to get a win now. Oh, punch. Throwing a punch now. Throwing in the arm, but reversal again. Every time Chef Ramsey goes for something, Aaron DeJester has a counter for it. Oh, sleeper hold. Rope break again. Arm ringer. Oh, an elbow right there to the back of the shoulder. Oh, wait a minute now. Aaron DeJester. Can it be what he likes to call the Jester's Wild? Jeremy Suplex to a pin. Two. He did it. That's it. Aaron the Jester wins against Gordon Ramsay. Wow. Let's see this match. How he won again. Jeremy Suplex coming. And right when he hits it, floats over and does a bridge to make sure he doesn't get out of that one. What a match. Aaron the Jester moves on in the tournament. Wow. Next up, we have Steven Seagal taking on Dr. Niles Crane. 
Let's see how this is going to pan out. Will we see Steven Seagal advancing? Or will Dr. Niles Crane join his brother and maybe just maybe have a brother versus brother matchup? But here comes Steven Seagal now, and he is like, he looks really mad. I mean, I can, I can say so myself, because, I mean, if you're looking that big and and still doing movies, I would be pissed off myself. Because believe me, his movies nowadays are not good. They're really bad. I'm not kidding. This is like, I'm not playing up this character. It's really bad. But here comes Dr. Niles Crane now, and he is coming to the ring. With his, his brothers behind him. Now, I gotta say though, even though both brothers were at ringside, they did not interfere in each other's matches, which is actually pretty cool. That's, you know, it makes you think that they respect each other's intellectual intellect and ring prowess. And you see Niles Crane drinking some, some sherry for, for his matchup. And here we go, folks. Seagal, Crane, who's going to win? Oh, roundhouse kick, but he didn't even hit him. Another roundhouse kick, hit him, low kick. And as you see, 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 see Mr. Seagal looking at Niles is like, you think you're going to beat me, man? I don't think so. Oh, what a, what a thrust kick, like a little uh, axle kick right there. And Niles now, oh, trying to get go behind him, but he did not get it. Elbows. You know, it's interesting when you think of Steven Seagal, and people don't even, I, I don't think people know this, but Steven Seagal is actually um, a New Orleans cop. And I didn't know this until Andy did his show, Steven Seagal Lawman. And it's such a bad show. Like, they show him, like, yeah, man, I'm a cop in New Orleans. I'm going to go to the bayou and, 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 serve some justice but the show it's it's him and two other guys and it's so annoying because he doesn't do anything he's just he, he he's in costume but his partners do the work for him neck breaker and they do everything P pretty much like they they chase down the bad guys they arrest them and all he does is yeah man you're gonna go away for a long time and then people come up going, hey, aren't you Steven Seagal? And he goes, yeah, man, that's me. But I'm a cop now. So I just find it weird that Steven Seagal, of all people, is a cop. I do know that I think Shaq became a cop too. But, I mean, that's completely different. So I don't know. Anyway, so we see both men are going back and forth. It's a, it's a presently even matchup, which I'm kind of, oh, high knee. I'm actually surprised by this matchup because, I mean, you know, Niles, he may come across as a little dainty, I guess you, uh, you, you can say, but he's taking it to Steven Seagal, and I got to say, I'm pretty surprised. Matching chop for chop, and Steven Seagal throwing him against the ropes. Oh, jumping shoulder block. And Niles now taking it. Oh, flip over. Wow, I... I haven't seen a big man do that in such a long time, but he flipped over. The Niles now trying to, trying to get, oh, suplex, Niles with a suplex. Frazier clapping for his approval. Double hook suplex by Seagal in a quick elbow drop right there too. So we'll see uh, the winner of this matchup. It's gonna be pretty interesting to see because. Uh, the winner of this matchup will be facing Aaron DeJester in the next round. Oh, running shoulder block, but blocked. Throw to the ropes by Niles. Elbow. Be still standing. Gut kick. Another throw to the ropes. And another high knee. Even though this scholar is all about being intelligent and being better than, than everyone else. He could still have a joke or two with the huh, high knee. Get it? Get it the butt. Butt. Anyway, grabbing here. Oh, the ha atomic drop there. And as you see, Seagal, elbow karate uh, move there by the Seagal. 
He's sizing each other up. I, ooh, better watch out there. Oh, thrust kick and a gut kick, but that stunned Seagal. Overhead punch. I gotta say, if Niles do does make it to, to the finals, and Frazier ma ma makes it to the finals, it's be brother versus brother. You have, you know, you had Undertaker and Kane, Stardust and Goldust, and you're gonna have Dr. Frazier Crane and Dr. Niles Crane. Who's gonna win? Who knows? But Niles has to make it through this round first before he can think about it. And a snake eyes on Steven Seagal. Oh, elbow drop. I mean, uh, running elbow. Overhead punch again. Niles building up some momentum here. Oh. Oh, diving coastline. I got to say, though, you know, Niles, he, he's hurt. You can see him favoring his... His midsection, but it doesn't seem like it's it's affecting him at all. Steven Seagal, chop. Oh, hitting with those chops. The chop, chop. Running. You can just... Another jab there. Man, this, this match has been evenly matched, to, to say the least. Oh, schoolboy! Oh, but a break right there. He was trying to get a quick win. Because Niles knows if, if this match, is, match goes any longer, he may get knocked out by Steven Seagal. And we see that him grabbing Steven Seagal with, with, for those knees. I gotta say, this match, running elbow right there too. This match is... Oh, Steven Seagal's hurt. He's hurt. He's, and now Seagal throwing Niles out. Because he knows that... Oh, but Niles is going. Let's go, buddy. Oh, shoulder block, though. I gotta say, you gotta give it to Niles. He's really showing his worth here. You, you know, you gotta give it to him at all. Oh, no. Look at this. Another reversal. Wow. You know, if you would have asked me... Niles Crane is is pretty much beating up Steven Seagal. I would have called you crazy. But it's happening here tonight, folks. Elbow drop. Chop. Oh, those Jimmy jabs right there, too. Another. He is taking him out of the ring. Oh, punch into the back. But he got back in right before. Niles is, is feeding off this energy from the crowd. You better watch out and not get counted out. Oh! But Niles was getting too excited for his own good, and now he's knocked down to the ring area. Oh, watch out. See, see Mr. Gone now. Trying to act fast, but looks like it's, does, it doesn't pan out. Niles, a body slam. They're at seven minutes. We, what can this match go? To the time limit of 10 minutes, we are going to see Neck Breaker. I got to say, though, you know, Niles Crane, I think, was getting too excited for his own good because it's been a while. Oh! Belly to belly right there. It's been a while since he's seen people in real life because of what's been happening with the pandemic. Oh, see Mr. Gondo. Four out to the chest, knocking him out the ring area. Oh, look out! Fly Seagal! Fly Seagal! Wow! And here it, and he gets back in the ring before the count of 10. And they're going back at it again. Niles! Snake Eyes coming! Oh! Drodo drops him on the ropes. And those. Oh, what a throw! He drop kicked him out of the ring. Seagal going back up. What's he doing here? Double arm smash! Back to ring he goes, but Niles trying to gain some, you know, support from the fans. Trying to feed off this energy here. We're at eight minutes. Whoa, elbow. Well, these guys better go for a win before time runs out, because I'm not sure what happens when there's a time limit draw in a tournament. I really don't, guys. I don't know what happens. <coughs> elbow drop. We're, we're getting close to the time limit. I hope both of these men knows that. But, uh, oh. 
crowd and a shit breaker. Niles, he, he needs to go on top of him. He needs to win this match. Both men are hurt. Both men have taken it to the absolute limit. Oh, this is that kick. I gotta say, we're down to a minute. Oh, shoulder block. Look out. And Steven Seagal, crowd and pound, but he has to hurry up. Oh, clothesline. Steven Seagal going back in the ring. And oh, look out. Wait a minute. Small package. Oh, kick out at two. Oh, kick out at one. 30 seconds left. Who, who, they better go for the... Oh, what a kick to the face. Steven Seagal trying to hurry. Beat the clock here. Boston Crab. Rope break. 15 seconds to go. Needs. Oh, man. We're up to 10 seconds. Oh, man. He better hurry up. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Wow. Steven Seagal and Niles Craig goes to a draw. I don't know what's going to happen now. I mean, does that mean who's... Oh, we got to do it again. Okay, you know what, guys? Uh... I'm just going to simulate it that way. We'll see who's going to win. Because honestly, I if this goes for another 10 minutes, I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna kill someone. So let's see who's gonna, who won. I guess the ref's saying uh, sudden death. Five more minutes to go. Let's see. And the winner of the Steven Seagal, Dr. Frazier, uh, sorry, Dr. Niles Crane is Steven Seagal. Wow. Okay. Up next, we got. The Censor's Worst Nightmare, Uncle Chuck. Taking on Ireland's own Hank Hill. My God, I tell you what. So it looks like at 4 minutes 16 seconds, Steven Seagal submitted Dr. Niles Crane. So, gotta say, 4 more minutes on the clock. And we could have seen that. But here we go, folks. The Uncle Chuck versus Hank Hill. So, I, it's it's this is gonna be a weird explanation on what the hell is what the who the hell is Uncle Chuck? But when I was a kid, I saw the movie Uncle Buck, and yeah. So, so what what happened is that when I saw Uncle Buck, I'm like, huh, okay, Uncle Buck. And then I saw I forgot what movie it was, but there was a movie. It, I'm not sure what it was a Quentin Tarantino movie where the guy's name was Chuck and he goes, My name is Chuck and I like to, and you know, he said the F word. So I'm like, Huh, it'd be kind of cool if you had a character who was a wrestler whose name was Uncle Chuck, but every time he would do a promo or talk to the, you know, to the camera, he'll tease him saying bad words, but he never does. Thus, Uncle Chuck was born. So, uh, who knows? Will Uncle Chuck make it through this next round? Or will Hank Hill, everyone's favorite, um, favorite propane or propane accessories salesman, win this matchup? We shall see. But, uh, here we go, folks. All close and off the bat now. Hank Hill taking it to Uncle Chuck. I gotta say, folks, that uh, last match really took a lot out of me. But man, Niles Crane going to a draw with Steven Seagal. And then five more minutes was added and Steven Seagal won. But you gotta give it to Niles Crane. Taking it to the limit of the 10 minute mark. And we see, oh, drop kick to the knee. But Hank Hill still up. Uh, sorry about that, folks. My my allergies are acting up really bad right now. So, uh, oh, neck neck breaker right there. And Hank Hill suplex to Uncle Chuck. And he is oh four up to the back. And Hank Hill, he's just going, "My God, Bobby, you look like my son, Bobby." 
That boy ain't right, bro. Ha. I know my Hank Hill's not that good, but you know, it, it's it's fine. So here we go. Oh, another close line, but he reverses it. And Hank Hill now looking at Uncle Chuck like, what the hell? You look like you have panties on. You have a big butt. I don't have a butt because I have a narrow urethra. Oh. Oh. Spinning shoulder block. And oh, this is with that that jumping clothesline. Hank Hill, though. Oh, Uncle Chuck. The elbow to the back of the head. And let's see if Hank Hill can take it to Uncle Chuck. Oh, reverses the elbow into an arm bar, but rope break right off the bat. Oh, a jab there and a neck breaker coming. Yeah, there it is. Man, Uncle Chuck taking it to Hank Hill. Oh, he's trying to grab him, but it looks like Hank Hill is still. Oh, Hank Hill's trying to gain some sort of momentum here. Reversal, though, by Uncle Chuck. Oh, kick to the back. And he's going to throw in. Oh, Uncle Chuck in a backdrop. Oh, trying to go for a close on off, off the bat, but he misses it. Neck breaker again. You got to get. Oh, then Uncle Chuck trying to hit a close line, but that didn't happen. Another neck breaker. I gotta say, folks, this match is going is for the right to be the main character in Road to WrestleMania story mode in this game. Now, as many of you know, the main character does have to have a partner. So, the, oh, ooh, we don't show that shot again, please. So, we're not sure what happens. Like, if whoever wins, what partner he will be. So, we'll see. Uncle Chuck throwing Hank Hill against the road drop kick. Wow, a big man like that doing a drop kick is pretty interesting. And uh, Uncle Chuck now looks like he's going for oh drop kick again. And Uncle Chuck, oh don't do that, damn it! Come on, there's kids watching. Oh another clothesline, but that didn't work. Look out, Uncle Chuck! Up Chuck, there it is. The up Chuck connects. Here's the cover. Can this be it? Two. Got him. Uncle Chuck. Oh, come on. Don't do that. I can't believe it. This is disgusting. Here he comes again. Uncle Chuck with what he calls the up Chuck. And boom. He calls it that because after he's done with you and he does this, that, that disgusting pin, you would want to up Chuck. Oh, God, that smell. Oh, what a match that was. Up next, we got for the last chance to be in the semifinals. So, quarter final, I'm not even sure. Me, Doug Not So Funny, taking on my favorite horror movie villain, Norman Bates. Who's going to win and who's going to lose? I don't know. I don't know. I really. I can't make a decision on this. I got I got to be partial on this. So we'll see who's going to win this matchup. Um, but uh, since we have time here, let me go over. Uh, let me uh, put in some advertisements about the other channels that we have here. First off, we got... <clears throat> excuse me. The Ghost Host Horror Official Pod... Uh, sorry. The Ghost Host Horror Podcast Official Channel. We cover horror movies, true crime, all that. Uh, new video we have up is The Dentist. We covered The Dentist, me and my best friend, Dr. Dashley, which is Matt. Look at me. Oh, he looks so big. Look at that. Yeah. And then our other channels, Jamie Lee, The Household Chronicles. If you want to see a typical life of a housewife, you go to that channel. It's such a good... I. I no lie, I know that I'm, you know, I'm not shilling, but honestly, watching it, just watching the, watching those videos, it's really interesting. Uh, it, you get a perspective of something that you don't really see 
and that's a perspective of a housewife and what they do when they are home and taking care of the house, taking care of the boat, if you shall say. Well, that's Jamie Lee, The Housewife Chronicles, and you can find it on the Erinosoclitis, damn it, sorry, the Ariosyncratic uh, feature channels. Once again, that's Jamie Lee, the household, the household, sorry, Jamie Lee, the Housewife Chronicles, and the Ghost Host Horror Podcast official channel page. And yes, Ghost Host Horror Podcast is on every podcast platform you can find your podcast. So here we go. And here I go. Yeah, come on, baby. Look at me go. I look so nice and pretty. Look so nice and pretty. Look at, oh, man. I look great in this game. I look really great in this game. Look how great I look in this game. Oh, man. Suplex by me, the winner of this tournament. I know I'm supposed, I'm supposed to be partial, but I don't care. I'm going to win this damn thing. I'm going to win it. I don't care. I'm I, 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 I ripping rip apart. So, Norman Bates, a part of a really great great movie psycho not the one with Fitz Vaughn by, uh, by the way I, I don't like the Fitz Vaughn one but the one with Alfred Hitchcock F Anthony Perkins Janet Lee just great great cinematographic great movie check it out really good movie my allergies are acting up right now folks I'm so sorry so here we go <coughs> elbow drop I mean elbow to the head I don't play that game. Low blow. I mean, I gotta say, he's doing the right things to win a match. If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying a suplex number. It's it's okay, you know. I feel like Doug Not So Funny can win this. I feel like if Doug Not So Funny can 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 pull the strength to win this tournament, I think we can have Doug Not So Funny as, as a main character and his tag team partner. I don't know. Who knows? Sleeper hold though. Come on, Doug. Not so funny. Yeah. Oh, because the backdrop coming now. Backdrop. So let's see. Uh, I gotta say, this match has been really good so far. Oh, I tricked you there, did I? I thought I was gonna go for a for something off the top rope, but I tricked you. See, that's that's how great Doug Not So Funny is. He is a superb athlete. I mean, I seen him. I saw him at the gym. I saw him at the gym. He was lifting five hundred pounds in one hand. I gotta say, I mean, he he he's just, he he's so great. I mean, honestly, I think Doug Not So Funny should win it hands down. I mean, yeah, Norman Bates is okay, but Doug Not So Funny, he has it going on. You know what I'm saying? Oh, but Norman Bates, though, punch him in the gut. Russian leg sweep there. By Norman Bates. Oh, yeah. Take him down. Take him. Get him. Get him. Come on. Knee lift. By Norman Bates. And another Russian leg sweep. And, uh... Yeah, oh, okay. All right. You know what? That's fine. You know what? Doug does so funny. Ha ha has the game plan here, folks. He's not coming in here without a game plan. He's 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 making it seem like he's going to win until he wins. So that's why. Yeah, you can see him losing, but it, it's okay. It's okay. I know my boy here, Doctor Dash, is gonna help me out here and make me win. So it's okay. You know, I mean, make him. Win. I'm sorry. Me not. You know. You know what I'm saying. So again, knocking him out, which is illegal. Oh, come on! Oh! What is he doing? Elbow drop, but I moved out of the way because I'm a smart guy. See that? See, I I, I, I lured him in to thinking he's going to win, but he's not going to win. No one beats me. Nobody beats me, you know? That's, 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 that's all it is. That's all it is. You know what I mean? Look, he's hurting his, his, his little neck's hurting him. You know, my stomach's hurting me because I, I kind of ate some, you know, I ate some Taco Bell. And it's okay. You know what? It's fine. Shoulder breaker because I'm such a great guy. Like, look how great I am in this game. I, mean, I should be the poster child of this game, you know? 
Like, just, just look at this. This looks great. Oh, 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 oh come on! That's an illegal kick. You can't use that kick. Get, uh, and, and, and an illegal club to the chest by Norman Bates. As we know, he's a killer. Oh, come on! I can't believe that he did this. Come on. Leave me alone. Be nice. Guys, you guys, you guys gotta picture this, okay? Uh, uh, this move right here is not illegal. It's it's very. I hit him in the in the abdominum area, okay? I didn't hit him in his little pee pee, okay? Because that's what he gets. It, and another illegal kick by Norman Bates. Can't believe this. Like I didn't know that that that. Eriosyncratic allows such illegal moves on this channel. Look at this. I mean, come on. Yeah, take him down. Take him down. Get him. Get him. I mean, yeah, kick him. Kick, kick him again. Kick him again. Half Boston crab. They're gonna make him tap out. Tap out. Damn it. Okay, whatever. You know, it's fine. Like, like I said, I always have a game plan. It's DDT there, which is an illegal move because it dropped me on my head. Uh, the punch, it's fine. I, I, I'm i tired. It's okay. Rope break. Rope break. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay. You know what? It's fine. I'm going to win this. And once I do, you know, you people can be all cheering for me because I'm the winner. And, you know, no one wants to lose. It's okay. And... Rope break, please. Thank you. Uh, and, you know, and, and me, me and Dashley, we have an understanding that if we were in the finals together, he would lay down for me and make me win because we're best friends and we'll do anything for each other. Because he'll he'll lose for me because I'm okay. Close up, but I'm such a great guy. I should, I mean, hell, I, I, there shouldn't even be a tournament. I shouldn't even, I shouldn't be the main character as it is. But it's okay. It's fine. I'm trying to get up now because I'm really tired, folks. I, I stood up all night last night, you know, making sure this tournament went out without a hitch. And of course, I, that, that wasn't, see, I punched him in the leg. I didn't punch him in the, uh, in the, uh, in the, oh, elbow drop there. That, it's over. That's it. That's it. Nope. Okay, great. Whatever. That's fine. Suplex, which, you know, it's not an illegal, but it should be. Um, but I, 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 when I did the quote-unquote low blow, I hit him in the, in the leg. And he had his keys there. That's why you heard that jiggling noise. So, um, we're at seven minutes now. And I gotta say, you know, if we go to time, time, time limit draw, I guess I win. So it's okay. Come on, come on. Another illegal kick to the head. This is not MMA. This is not, you know, a freaking uh, freaking fight club. An ankle lock. Oh, ro rope break, please. Rope break. Rope break. Sorry. I'm getting too caught up in this matchup because we all know who's going to win. It's going to be your boy, Doug. Not so funny. That, that, wait a minute. Wait, wait. Be before you guys say that that was a low blow, I hit him in the leg. The leg, okay? I hit him in, in the leg because, once again, those damn keys. You know, those those, those keys, guys, okay? So. <coughs> Close line again. And, and, and you know, you know, regardless of, on who wins or loses, it's just a video game. It's, there's no ill will, okay? I think Norman Bates would actually be okay me winning. Because, come on, I mean, you really want a killer... To win this match, it's not gonna win the match, you know. It's it's you want someone that's that's you know always making sure that they're doing the right thing, you know. That's all that's all that they're doing, and that's what I'm doing right now. I'm doing the right thing, making sure that I win, okay. And yeah, we're up to maybe like close to 30 seconds before the match ends. That's fine because I'm gonna win. It's okay. Okay. Um. Excuse me. Uh, rope break, rope break, rope break. Get, you gotta hit the. Ro okay, that's fine. Whatever. 
It looks like Mr. Norman Bates is not going to win this match because I am the man. I'm the one person. Snake eyes, but you got 10 more seconds to go, Normie. What are you going to do? Beat me up? Four, three, two, one. You lose. I win. Thank you. Thank you. You know what? You put up a great match, Norman, but at the end, your boy wins. That's all that that's all it is. That's all it is. But of course, I have to do simulation because of course five more minutes was added. And let's see who's gonna win. It's gonna be your boy. Doug! Not so funny. Thank you. Thank you. So let's see our brackets going into the semi-final round. We have the quarterfinal. We have Dr. Fraser Crane taking on Dr. Dastardly. Jackie Chang taking on Adam. Sorry, Adam. Admiral Nick. Ah, yes. Aaron the Jester taking on Steven Seagal. And Uncle Chuck taking on the winner. And still, winner Doug. That's so funny. That's me. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with another video to see me win this tournament. Thank you and good night.